What is going on guys? My name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly what Vegas Movie Studio 15 Platinum looks like the full walkthrough So make sure to smash the like button down below and I know that I'm like a couple of weeks Maybe even months late because I had like any time I was actually installing the program onto my computer to make a walkthrough of it The program kept crashing anytime I was booting up the program it kept crashing but someone has helped me out with this. So as you can see right now, I'm really busy right here uh, Making the actual uh, walkthrough happen. So I'm just gonna show you guys exactly as you can see right now What Vegas movie studio 15 platinum looks like so yeah Make sure to smash the like button down below for this tutorial You guys have been waiting way too long and what is also really nice guys Magix and I the creator of Vegas Pro 15 and you know movie studio are working really close together to actually create a new gift Giveaway. So the giveaway opens tomorrow so you guys can win one copy of this program I'm gonna give away two copies two physical copies. It is a worldwide giveaway So it doesn't matter where you live So make sure to stay tuned guys So enough rambling around and I would say let's go ahead and jump into Vegas movie studio 15 Let's <laughs> Okay guys, as you can see, finally we are at Vegas Movie Studio 15 Platinum and this is basically another software that Magic released a little bit, you know, on, on the low budget side because this is not really that expensive as Vegas Pro 15, the $600 editing program that I've been using and that I had also done giveaways for in the past. So as you can see, this is basically what we will land on if we open up the program. So what else is different from Vegas Pro 15? 15 is this little menu that says add video and audio add text and graphics and other things for example like show me how it will you know show you guys a little step-by-step uh, -step tutorials to learn how to use Vegas movie studio but you guys can also check that out yourself first thing that I notice is that it has the same tint you know the same dark gray tint as Vegas Pro 15 and that is a really cool thing and I'm not even sure like if you can change that up just like Vegas Pro so we're gonna start off with the basics so as you can see right now we have right here the audio and the video tracks I'm gonna delete them all for example to show you guys how to actually use it if you boot up the program it will just load in a empty project and in order to get started for video editing and audio editing what you can do is right click click on insert video track and insert audio track now I can already notice that there are no icons you know like track motion and you know the compositing mode so in order to get that back is click on those three little lines click on edit visible button set and you want to make sure that everything is checked right here and if you click on okay boom on the left all the icons are back and I know there are less icons than in Vegas Pro 15 because this is a lower budget program so you can do a little bit less with this program than the usual original software so we're gonna do the same for the audio just insert an audio track click on the three lines edit visible button set and you want to just make sure that everything is checked and then boom as you can see all the icons are back I can already hear you guys asking Alex what is the best software is it Vegas Pro 15 is it this software movie studio well guys I prefer Vegas Pro 15 because you have all the features in that program and that is basically my opinion so what you can do also you know below the preview screen there are not like you know going frame per frame click on the three lines just the same thing edit visible button set make sure that everything is checked like this and then boom all the icons below the preview screen are back now the second thing that you guys may be wondering is are my rendering presets still in there well we're gonna find that out so we're gonna go to the uh, media generators we're gonna just drag in a, a random a checkerboard so we're gonna be able to render out something so we're gonna select this go to project and we're gonna click on render as now as you can see as usual the box is popping up where you can have multiple different render settings none of the presets that we have in Vegas Pro 15 are in here so it's not like for example if Vegas 16 comes out if you install that Vegas will automatically you know transfer your settings from Vegas Pro 15 to Vegas Pro 16 because this is a separate program this is not of the Vegas Pro series so that's why you lost your presets but if you open up Vegas Pro 15 after this you will still see your presets so installing this program will not delete any other things it's because you can have both programs on the same PC people may ask Alex what is better Sony AVC MVC 
or for example, Magix, AVC or XD Cam or Windows Media Video or Video for Windows. What I always use to render up my videos is Sony AVC. Now, in order to get you know, the 60 FPS template back, we're gonna pick internet 1920 by 1080p 30p. We're gonna customize this template and we're going to go ahead and, and make sure that the settings all are correct right here. So we're gonna start off with the first one, which says video format. We're gonna put that one to AVC. The frame size is obviously 1920 by 1080. The profile is gonna be on high. The entropy coding is CABAC and the frame rate, we're gonna put that one to 60 because that's gonna be 60 FPS. The field order is obviously none. Pixel aspect ratio is gonna be 1.0000. The bit rate is going to be 16 million or 16000000. And the number of slices are going to be one. We're gonna go ahead and click on audio and we're gonna make sure that we'll put the bit rate to the maximum, which is going to be 320 in this case. Audio coding mode is going to be stereo. And that is basically the last thing we need to do. And we're gonna go to project and it says video rendering quality. We're gonna put that one to best. Now, if you go back to video, this is basically everything you need in order to make your 60 FPS preset. So I'm just gonna call this, as you can see right here, when it says template, I'm just gonna call this uh, 60 FPS. Then we're gonna click on this little diskette icon and click on okay. And anytime we're going to pick AV Sony AVC MVC, as you can see at the top, it says 60 FPS. So the next thing you need to do is fill in a name for your file and click on render. So that's it basically for, you know, the, the rendering settings and everything like that. So you guys may be asking Alex, why is this program limited uh, to certain features? Well, guys, you have to understand that this software starts, I think, around between $30 and $60. I'm not sure about the exact price, but that's basically why it has limited options because Vix Pro is $599. And if they would actually, you know, give the exact same features to Movie Studio, nobody would purchase Vegas Pro 15 because they can do everything they need in Movie Studio. That's why it's cost like $40 compared to $599. Okay, so moving on to the next thing, as you can see right here, if we click on add video and audio, what we can do, it could, we can just go ahead and add media, uh, explore your hard drive, so we can basically import files from your camera or device. What you can do is you can just go ahead and click on, for example, explore your hard drive. This menu pops up and then you can just go ahead and, for example, go to uh, music and you can just go ahead and drag in anything else straight into your timeline. So the next thing we can do is click on add text and graphics. That's going to bring us to the media generators tab. As you can see, it is yellow and blinking. That means yet that you're on that tab. And obviously everything is still in there. The checkerboard, the color gradient, credit roll, noise texture, solid color, obviously text pattern and titles and text. So you can actually just go ahead and, you know, as you can see, drag in text. It works the same as Vegas Pro 15. You can just resize it, uh, use different kinds of fonts, as you can see. Uh, very, very nice. Magix has done an awesome job on, on developing this software. And like I've said, guys, I'm gonna give away two copies in a month from now, and the giveaway video will release tomorrow. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And that is basically what you can do with Vegas Movie Studio 15 Platinum. And obviously, you can just go ahead and for example you know x out quick start and it's going to look the exact same as vegas pro 15 as you can see we have the still the same effects and you're wondering alex all the plugins for example the the, the new blue effects plugin the sapphire plugin do they come with v movie studio well it is the same for vegas pro external plugins do not come with vegas pro nor this software because that's why it's named external plugins you need to install them manually yourself if you have any plugins installed into Vegas Pro 15, for example, the Sapphire plugin, it will not be in here. And that's because of the exact same reason as the render settings. They're not transferred because this program is not a part of the Vegas Pro series. And I'm also warning you that I'm not even sure if you can install plugins into Movie Studio because Movie Studio is kind of limited, but it gets the job done, obviously. But I'm not even sure if you can actually install external plugins into Movie Studio because I just have this software for like 30 minutes now because the last few weeks I've been mailing with 
with Magix to solve the crashing problem anytime I boot up the program. So that's the reason, guys. I'm not even sure, like I've said, if, you, if you're able to download external plugins into Vegas Movie Studio 15 Platinum. Guys, this is basically how it works. And the, obviously, the software is uh, very, very uh, on the low budget side. That's a really awesome thing because let's say that you cannot afford Vegas Pro uh, 15. That's like 599. You can just consider getting this program or if you want this program make sure to participate in the giveaway i'll be launching tomorrow but you guys know how it rolls so keep an eye out on your sub box okay guys so the next thing we're going to talk about is the transitions well as you can see we have all the same transition that we have in Vegas Pro 15. And like I've said, none of the plugin effects, you know, for example, new blue effects or anything like that are not in the transitions. They're not in the video effects because like I've mentioned, plugins do not come with the program and they are not installed. So as you can see at the top, we have some more icons we don't have in Vegas Pro 15. So right here it says make movie that says guides you through each step in saving your movie to various formats that you can share with friends and family. So that's a very good point because let's say that you want to save your project because you have been editing for a while and you don't want to lose your progress what you can do is you can press on your keyboard control s that's going to bring up this box as you can see and then it says save as movie studio project file and then you can just for example call this video and then when you are finished editing you can save your project and if i click on save what you can do is you could just press control s and if you can see at the cursor that means that it is saving so you can just press control s you know, once in a while to save your progress so you won't lose everything if this program may crashes on you. And obviously other things, you can just customize this to your wants and needs. For example, like drag this down so you can make the preview screen a little bit bigger. So guys, this is basically Movie Studio 15 Platinum. And if you go to the project video properties, as you can see right here, it says template. You can choose awesome many different templates, for example, 4K or uh, HD 720p, 60 FPS, uh, 1080p, everything is in there just like Vegas Pro. And as you can see right now at the bottom, it's kind of a white uh, field. That's because of some options are limited. But what you can do, is you can go ahead and click on full resolution rendering quality, put that one to best. You can just go ahead and field order. You want to just go ahead and put this one to upper field first and a frame rate. You can even choose to use 60 FPS in your preview. And you can just also give this a name by clicking on this diskette icon. So guys, this is Vegas Movie studio 15 platinum that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this and like i've said make sure to participate in the giveaway tomorrow and i will see you guys then so this is movie studio 15 platinum so that is the full walkthrough guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to make sure to win a copy make sure to check out tomorrow's video that's going to release at 11 a.m pst on the channel because you guys can answer and obviously make a chance to win a copy i'm going to give away two physical copies magic and i are working really close together to make this event successful and happening make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video and i will see you guys obviously in my next video